What's going on, CT family? Welcome back to another episode. Basically, it just rained real hard. Oh, damn. It just rained pretty heavy. So, so hopefully, the bullfrogs will be out today. We're gonna go to the pond, and we're gonna see if we can't catch some bullfrogs. Oh, look right there. Look. See that? Right there is a red-eared slider. The wind is absolutely atrocious out here so basically that's all that's happening is there's this turtle i picked him up showed y'all the turtle he started peeing everywhere i sat him back down let him do his thing that's all that's happening here but yeah so basically what we're looking for the whole time is little heads on the water really easy to spot and uh so we're just sight fishing for these bullfrogs and then we'll cast our lures literally right on top of them let it sit there for a second jerk it around a little bit and then they're literally right on it But he's still absolute toad. Literally, this guy is huge. I don't have anything to put him in. What did I put him in? All right, so we got our frog in there. Now we need to take this bad boy. We gotta clean it, clean it up. We only caught one, which is a little disappointing. But you know what? That's all right. It's all right because we're still gonna cook it up and it's still gonna be very tasty. So now that we got the frog legs all cleaned up, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna cook these bad boys up. I am back. You know what? I can't even do this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I. I genuinely am going to be honest with you. I wish I could lie right now, but you know, I never lie to y'all. Come on now. I never freaking lie to y'all, okay? Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, shit. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I wish I could tell you that I didn't freeze those frog legs a week ago, but um, that's how it's looking. I wish I could get out. I, could, I wish I could start this, this little next part. Hair drenched, dripping, real juicy. All right, fresh out the shower, but that wouldn't be me telling the truth, you know? I, I wish I could say that it was, but it's not the truth, okay? I froze these damn frog legs almost a fucking week ago, all right? You know how that makes me feel, all right? It makes me feel terrible. So, I'm, as you can, so as you can see, we're thawing them back out right now, okay? They've been sitting in a salt rub, Trying to get that little frog gaminess out of them because I know it's gonna have some. These, that thing was like a solid pound, dude. Like, wait till I get them out. I'm gonna show you all the meat on these bad boys. I probably showed y'all in the skinning thing, but this thing's huge, okay? So, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little gamey, but while that's thawing out, so we're gonna come in here and uh, we're gonna whip up a little something here. Alright, so we got little clean bowl right here but we're gonna start mixing again also we're gonna use a little bit of these breadcrumbs I think that'll add a nice texture to 
the uh, frog legs after we fry them in the oil right here. So we're gonna start off with some flour here, just like that. Okay, a little bit of flour, put that right there. Now we're gonna mix in these. breadcrumbs check and see if they're out of date because kind of worried they were but little breadcrumbs here so we're gonna mix some of that in there oh that was a lot okay um now that we got that in there we're gonna take some hooter seasoning if y'all know about that hooter seasoning shit right here dude put this on anything okay y'all don't understand i put this on everything okay this hooter seasoning right here get you some you don't know what you're missing all right so we're gonna take some of this we're just gonna dash that in there like that and we're gonna take some important important mix some bomb ass seasonings go check them out for yourself these things straight fire so we're gonna take some emporium this is a uh, super garlicky um i don't know you put this on a lot of stuff it says uh burgers chicken salads omelets and soups all kinds of shit all right so we're just gonna throw this in here just a little bit. It's very strong. They get they make some strong seasonings. I'm gonna put these back in the cabinet here. Okay. We're just gonna mix this up. Real nice and well. Just like that. Honestly, I think we can put a little bit more breadcrumbs. It's not as crumbly as I thought. I didn't realize how much flour is in there. Just gonna put that all in there. There we go. Just gonna mix this up. So I'm gonna put this aside. We're gonna get started on is that egg wash? I don't know what it's called. On the, the the juicy stuff, you soak it in before. All right, let's get started on that. Switched up angles on you, didn't I? Let's get started on this little mix here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out our milk. We're gonna take out, uh, what should we use? What we got here? What is this? Louisiana Pure Crystal. That bad boy, ooh, that bad boy's spicy. All right, so we're gonna take, oh, God damn. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of milk, and we're gonna pour that right in our bowl here. Just a little bit there, okay? We're gonna take this hot sauce, we're gonna open this up. We're using this right here. I don't know where this came from, never heard of it, but we're gonna use it anyways, because it smells like hot wings. That's what it smells like. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna, Add a little dash of that in there. That was more than a little dash, but you know what? It's all right. So what we're gonna do, we'll set that in there. Now we're gonna take an egg. We're gonna drop that right on in there. Just like that. Okay, we got an egg in there now. We're gonna whisk this up right here. We got a little whisk. We're just gonna whisk this nice on up. Just like that. Right, we got this whisk right on up. I'm waiting on this oil to get hot. See you in a second. These bad boys are cooking up, but y'all see that? It's like shrinking off the bone there. But uh, yeah. So let's just give these a little minute to cook and then uh, we will see what is going on. All right, so this one here looks quite done, don't it? Don't that just look delicious? It smells and honestly looks delicious. I'm actually really excited. We're gonna wait till this other one's done, all right? We're gonna see what this is all about, all right? All right, we're gonna see what the hype is all about. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pinch off a piece of this meat. Um, looks super tender. Smells really good. Augie, don't touch that damn camera. All right, honestly, let's just go for the bite. I'm gonna need a minute. No, Augie. This? This right here? Dude, it tastes exactly, it tastes exactly like catfish. 
with chicken texture. So, but it's, I mean, but this little frog leg recipe I just threw together, very good. If y'all don't believe me, go ahead and try it for yourself. You can find bullfrogs anywhere the freak you want, dude. This shit is so good. I, I'm, I'm baffled. I'll show you how to catch them, skin them, and cook them. All right, no excuses. So, y'all get out there, get wild. This is Caleb Gomert signing off. See you in the next one.